I have taken you behind the scenes of our design process a couple of times already, but today is going to be special because we will be talking about a mobile app designed for a change. The project is a redesign and in this video I'll share with you how we approached it, what was our main reasoning behind some of the design decisions and how we planned ahead for other languages and other country versions. We started by looking at the current app. Despite a rather ugly design, it was actually doing quite well, which meant the product itself was a valid idea. That's always a good start. As always, it's worth mentioning that the client trusted us with doing the project our way, with feedback being minimal and thought out. This always leads to much better results than with both parties pulling towards their opposite goals. It basically just works better. We started by rethinking the guiding character. The apps used a stereotypical person from each country as the main illustration and guide. We decided a more rounded, friendly character would work better and played around with a couple of ideas before settling on a parrot. First of all, parrots are well known for repeating what people say and it's basically what the app is about. But parrots are also colorful, which was a perfect way for us to rebrand the app for different languages because it's a white label app. Playing around with stereotypes can be tricky. It's very easy to drift into the negative or hurtful categories, so we tried our best to avoid that and only focus on positive ones. And sure, not all French people eat baguettes and not all Spanish people are interested in football, but the playful nature of these stereotypes is more about lowering the processing time, because we have some mental associations whether we like it or not. And just changing the colors of the bird wouldn't be enough, that's why we went with those small extra characteristics. They were all coded or tested as well and we removed some of them that we thought are questionable. We started with French but quickly managed to create a Spanish version of the character as well. We also created the character in a way that's quite easy to modify, so more versions to be used in various places of the app were possible. The interface was then simplified with a new font and a unified color scheme. Buttons became rounded and gained a nice soft gradient and shadow. White space got bigger and so did the fonts. We were aiming for maximum readability. Here is how the initial splash screen looked like and here is our version with a notable addition of the ability to play the sound clip right from the speech bubble. Because of course it's not just a visual overhaul. One other thing we decided to go with is emphasizing the action on buttons. We used the confetti-like effect made from simple shapes and objects exploding with a burst on tap. That gave more weight to the buttons and combined with a proper sound made the learning simply more fun. An idea like this works great for a consumer app, especially one devoted to learning. It wouldn't really fit a professional business product, so it's important to always match your ideas to the product category, so don't go overboard with something that wouldn't fit. Working on an almost white label style product can be difficult because you need to plan for color or spacing combinations that may not look that great. It requires some back and forth and some exceptions that should always be clearly annotated. We also made a style sheet for the developers based on the first two language versions, showing the differences. That was later also outlined in a document enabling the developers to create other versions a lot faster and a lot easier. Because in the end that's what white labels are about. Because the app uses flashcards and lots of them, we couldn't really prepare 50,000 individual images. Instead we focused on the framing of those images for maximum consistency, so instead of modifying the images we focused on what's around them. We also went with emojis on some of the main action buttons to reinforce the actions in a consistent visual way. What do you think about this redesign? Let me know in the comments and as usual, thanks for watching and have a beautiful day. Uh -huh.